Here are some DIYs, Dollar Tree DIYs, um, for watercolor folks. So I thought I'd do this because a lot of the travel sets and stuff that I've made, um, a bunch of the stuff has stuff from Dollar Tree. And I think I have six different little DIYs. Um, and yeah, I just, I think they're very useful. I've been using them a lot, so I know they work. And um, yeah, I'm excited about it. So let's, here we go. The first one is this, which is, well, this. This is a pill container from Dollar Tree. It has these hooks on it. which I like because they're a much more secure way of uh, closing these than a lot of other things that I've seen at Dollar Tree. And they come with these little pill boxes inside. Now, to turn this into a palette, what I did is I took, I cut out two pieces of watercolor paper, one here and one on the bottom, and wrapped it in packing tape, then stuck it to either sides of this with double stick tape, and you can replace them anytime you need to. Um, now, what you can use inside are these things. You can use them, um, you already know they fit, and if you like to have a bunch of watercolor or let's say gouache with you, you know, or gosh, even acrylic paint. I think you could use these, just keep the caps on. But if you want like watercolor in there, you know, um, well, I wouldn't say acrylic, I haven't used it for acrylic. but watercolor and gouache for sure because they dry. I don't think these are like waterproof so I don't know if you should put your um, acrylics in there but yeah you could put like six six fit that this way and then six more so you have like a palette of 12 in here. There's a little room on the side but that's okay. Um, or you could put them in there this way and then have room for stuff on the side here. Um, or what I did, and I did this for a friend of mine, I'm going to give this away. I just finished it, is um, use those, uh, I made, um, oh, I don't even have them for this. Stupid. The Dollar Tree has little makeup palettes and you can take the makeup out of those and put wa watercolor in those. I have a video I have, yeah, I have a video of that on my channel. You guys can go check it out. Um, but the little silver palettes that I take out of those makeup palettes, I put in here. And I put some uh, paint in there. So this is um, one I'm going to give to my friend. These are from another palette that I got at CVS, so don't worry about those. But yeah, this one I like because you have room for pencil and, and paint brushes and a nice mixing area here. Um, the other thing you could do is cut watercolor paper to this size and put it in here as like five or so panels and you can have it on the go whenever you see something you want to sketch. You have your water brush, which I believe should fit in here. Uh, mine is uh, the really big one, but it fits in here on an angle. So put this in here and some sponge or paper towel on the side. And you don't even need a water container with you. You literally have everything you need here. And then these are here for washes if you want to make those. And uh, have like a bunch of area full with one color. And those I stuck in there with the double stick tape as well. Just in case she wants to remove them or switch them around or change the the layout of it. Yeah, it's fully customizable so I really like it. It's super simple. It has just enough paint. I mean, I, these are Grumbacher so they're a lot more pigmented so you don't have to like really dig in there like you would with cheaper watercolors, you know what I mean? Um, and yeah, so it's super lightweight, super portable and um, yeah, so that's
couple of those out of the way. And what else we got? The other thing that I do for my gouache, because gouache, uh, it dries out and it cracks if it's exposed to air because of how much pigment is in there. So what I did, um, for some kind of cheaper gouache, uh, artist loft gouache, I took these other <laughs> huge pill containers from Dollar Tree. These are really big. Um, this is like, I want to say... Do I want to say? What do I want to say? Where is it? Okay, it is like. Let's use. An inch and three quarters this way. And a little bit more than an inch this way. So this is huge. This, by the way. is about three inches by six inches nice little three by six Walmart has a version of this as well a pillbox container it's a lot bigger well it's a good size bigger and it's much sturdier and thicker um, than this one as you can see it's got about this much on the side I put this in there and it closed so um, if you want to have a little bit more room for yourself, you can choose this. I obviously use it to store pens and pencils and stuff. I buy, you guys look, <laughs> I buy so many pill containers from Dollar Tree all the time. They have to wonder. They have got to wonder what the heck it is I'm doing with them, I swear. But they're so useful. I mean, you could use this to organize all kinds of stuff. Just for, for like, um, if you're traveling, you know what I mean? The Just so many things you could put in here, like little hair accessories, jewelry is fantastic to, to store in these things for travel. Um, oh, gosh, what else? I don't even, I mean, the possibilities are endless, I think. And I don't even know, like you guys could probably come up with other uses. Um, so yeah, this is the airtight one that I use. It's it's not like completely airtight, but it's airtight enough to where I've had these in here for a couple months now. And I scoop out however much I need when I use them. And like this one, this one cracked a little bit, but it's still, oh no, this, jeez, okay. Well, this one's really hard. The yellow is a no-go. Um, ooh, that's soft. Yeah, that's soft. I'm not even going to touch that. That looks very soft. Um, so, yeah, this, this has been working pretty good. And I have it in uh, two containers right here. So, that's that. What I've been using. And uh, another thing I just found as a use for these because at first I was throwing them away and then I'm like oh, I don't want to be wasteful um, so I had some half pans that I had to take out of some pallets and I put them away and I didn't really have much use for them but I wanted to keep them nice and protected so I put them in here you see that they got their own little separate space so nothing can hurt them Oh, come on. They're nice and safe. I get to keep all of those um, pigments nice and safe. See? So I just keep them in here with the rest of my watercolors. Tools. So that's that. And these are great for that. The other thing is you could put watercolors in them and put them in like those Altoids tins too for uh, for little travel sets. So they're very useful. Oh, I think I have too many in here. I'm going to have to reorganize this sucker. 
but yeah, and now, hold on, the other thing that I found was Dollar Tree has makeup sponges, um, sponges, brushes, and these are the ones I got today. Let me get these out of the way here or this is going to drive me nuts. Absolutely nuts. I'm going to be driven. Oh, okay. So I guess that's all we got room for. Oh, wait. No, can they? I kind of don't want to do that. Yeah, I'm going to throw these away. That's it. I can't fit anymore. And I don't want to fill my life with the garbage. So I'm going to throw those away. All right. Now, these are the Wet n Wild brushes that Dollar Tree, oh my goodness, sells. Right? And I was looking at this one and I thought it might make like a good mop brush. It doesn't come to a very nice point. I know that. But for doing washes, this thing holds so, so, so much water. It just glides. There's just so much water in there. So I use it to stretch my canvases, and it's really, really amazing. So this is very good for that. And I've been using one right here. This is the one that I use all the time. I've left this with water in it, and I come back, like, more than 24 hours later, and it's still wet if I don't try to dry it off completely. It's amazing how much water this thing can hold. So I wanted to get another one and see if I can uh, cut it somehow to make it come to an actual point. So then maybe it could have another use, you know what I mean? But I tried that with this one and it looks so bad. <laughs> it works bad too. Um, yeah, this and this one was super long. Com it was just, you know, they don't have very good quality control. So these would just come out any old size. And this was a longer one that I was able to find. And I'm like, oh, let me see if I could fashion that into um, a point. And I could not. And I got sick of it. And it looks ugly and horrible. And it feels horrible. And I'm not going to use it like that. So that's a no. However, if they do ever get, because sometimes, you know, stores will have a bad batch of brushes, but then there are still some good ones and they'll send them to Dollar Tree. So I always like to keep my eye out. You never know what you can find. But these, they always seem to have there. And this one is, is the only one so far that I, oh, it's so soft. <laughs> I love this one. Oh so yeah, this one's very good. And then, um, Let's see what else we have. The other thing that I do, and you guys are going to think this is kind of crazy. I get nail polishes. Not, not nail, just uh, the clear one. Right? The LA Colors. Base, top coat, whatever this is. And I use it because if I get that really, really nice standalone watercolor paper from Michaels, which I have, I painted these pictures on there, just some random splotches of color for um, my Stalogy cover for me and my friend. Um, I ended up give, giving her a different one, but this one I ended up keeping for myself. And I, I have a video of this on my channel, but the color when you paint on that paper, it gets sucked in and it becomes super, super dull. Hold on a second. Hold on just a second. But this, I put two coats of that clear nail polish on this and look at that vibrant, vibrant color. And it's not even, it's not even halfway picking up on the camera how vibrant and beautiful it is so I'm just happy that I get to have that color back you know what I mean and I use Dollar Tree nail polish for that oh 
Now, I always get my masking tape from Dollar Tree too. Also, just so you know. Now, um, the last thing that I want to talk about is a thing that I bought today that I am so, so, so freaking happy about. Um, what I've been using for water jars here at home, um, also from Dollar Tree, are these huge vase thingies, which hold a lot of water. But they waste a lot of water as well when I, uh, you know, change all my waters out. It just feels very wasteful. So today I found something that just, it seemed like it was made to be a watercolor thing. And that's this thing. Also, and Dollar Tree. Now, if you don't know what this is, this comes with Q-tips on this side and this side, cotton swabs, and some other cotton wipe type things. These right here. This. And these. This is what was in there. So, I took those out, and bam. There it is. I this this thing. I had to unstick it, but it left that sticky residue on, but um, I need to see what, you know, what color is dirty and which one's clean and stuff like that. But this is amazing, and it takes up a lot less room, because I had two of these in another huge container, and it was taking up an entire area on the side of my desk, where I can now store those sketchbooks. So, I am, there you go, <laughs> I am so happy about this. Um, I'm using the other one now to just hold brushes in while they dry. That's where my dry brush, my brushes go to dry now. And this, just four sections of water. The other thing that I like um, is these three slits in the middle, they're lower than the ones on the side because I'm here in my office I don't have a sink anywhere near me so I just dump everything into these like empty you know gallon jugs so I don't know how to show you this but they have a small little hole at the top about this big and when I flip this over like this because this is smaller than the edge the water from here will go into here, which will go into here, which will go into here, which comes out like a little spout right here. And because of how this lip is made, it doesn't go back down here and make a mess. It just like a cute little spout and it all goes out and I can change the whole thing. And one of these doesn't even hold all the water that I would hold in one of those jars before. So this is so much more economical and so much less wasteful. And it takes up so much less space. I mean, look, I can almost touch, you know, my fingers on the sides. So I'm just so excited about this. I'm just going to put this on the side here and always have it ready to go. Oh, and this is going to be my travel one, too. Um, I'm going to make a little travel kit. I have a, a bag that I got with a Windsor Newton Cotman pack thing where I could fit this and a palette and a sketchbook and brushes and pens and everything fits in there. And on top of all of that, I even have room left over for a water bottle. That's um, this thing right here. So, yeah. It is, oh, I think I have everything. This one's my favorite. I just got this today. I cannot tell you how freaking happy I am about this. Let me get some water. Let me put some water in this sucker. Oh, so, so happy. There we go. There it is. There it is, guys. Now, I'm sure there will be plenty more Dollar Tree hacks to come. I have no doubt about that. Um, but yeah. 
Ugh. Look at this, you guys. I love this so much. And look, it just has such a nice thin profile for my desk. It reminds me of that uh, that three bucket that pulls apart and folds into itself. This doesn't fold into itself, but it's plenty useful. Don't you worry. So, okay, that does it for my Dollar Tree hacks. I hope you guys got some neat ideas and learned something useful. Um, that's all my aim is here and maybe entertain you guys. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to head on out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.